Welcome to Wealth Think Tank Television. I'm your host, Dr. Ralph Steele, and we are live here on the now network of Wealth Think Tank Television. And we're happy to have you on our show today. And folks, let me tell you something. You know, you may ask the question, what do we do? We are an organization, not only just a television show, but we provide investments, uh, estate planning, and trust for people. Now, but today we got a special, a brief special conversation about investments. So here's also what we do. And this is for the moms and the dads and the grandparents out there. What we do is, is we encourage, we guide, we lead, and we actually provide quality professional leadership and providing parents in investing in their children. I mean, you can even start at one, two years old. And I highly recommend you, parent, fathers and mothers, to invest in your children at an early age. Because number one is you can build a legacy and a wealth foundation by starting early. Number two is you can help create generational wealth by starting early. And then number three, the cost of it is minimal when you start early. But the benefits are gigantic. They're huge. <clears throat> I also highly recommend this for grandparents as well to get on board and invest in your children and your grandchildren at an early age. And so we also encourage you to be a part of financial literacy uh, so we can help teach the younger generation about financial literacy. This brings me to our show today. Folks, we have a very, very special guest, Caden Harris, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. He's on our show today, and I'm telling you, folks, this young man has an amazing uh, story to tell and today, but first and foremost, let me welcome Caden Harris from Atlanta to a Wealth Think Tank Television today. Welcome, Caden. Thank you for having me, Dr. Steele. I'm Caden, CEO of Caden Teaches, where I specialize in teaching kids about financial literacy. Oh, that is absolutely great. That way, I don't have to do a lot of that work. Caden, you can do a lot of that work. And maybe one day we can even team up and do some of it together and teach a lot of financial literacy. And so I'm so glad that you are doing this. And so that brings me to uh, a question, a conversation about how you do. Um, uh, who inspired? How did you become inspired to do this kind of work? I would say one of my biggest inspirations was my dad. He's written over 30 books, and that was a big inspiration to me, which this, which made me want to start my company, seeing how far and how many books he's created. It gave me the idea, why couldn't I do the same thing, if not create even more books? That is absolutely great and correct, um, and I appreciate the, your story. Uh, so doing some of the things that your father do, um, what are some of the ways that you can give back, Caden, to your community, but to the community that we live in in America? I give back by doing free workshops and events at places at the YMCA's and Boys and Girls Clubs at communities that can't afford to book me because I can teach, I can give you money and I can give you things but if I can teach you how to make your own money and buy your own things that's more valuable that is because you've heard the saying Caden you can give a man or a woman a fish and you can keep giving them a fish but if you teach them how to fish they can eat forever and I like that perspective that you have Caden thank you now so what? How do you actually go about 
and what method or mode that you actually are you going to go about teaching financial literacy? What are some of the ways you do you physically will be doing that? One of the biggest ways that I'll be teaching kids about financial literacy is my financial bus. And on the bus, I plan to have a mock bank where kids will be able to learn how to deposit and withdraw money, a mock grocery store where kids will be able to learn how to deposit and withdraw money, and a mock in a mock stock exchange where kids will be able to learn how to invest in stocks. Wow. And we already have the bus and we're still currently raising funds for the bus. Well that is great because it seems like if you ain't careful, uh, Caden, you're going to end up creating uh, another Wall Street. I mean, perhaps right there in Atlanta, Georgia. Or who, have, who knows? Yeah, definitely. Or, or maybe you can create a, 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 a teenager, a young children Wall Street that they can exchange stock market and, and make money. And I mean, just... Help them to understand and be wealthy. What do you think about that? That would be awesome. Man, that is great. Uh, now, <clears throat> what is the most difficult thing about running a business? I would say one of the most difficult things about owning a business is having to miss a lot of social events with friends and family, missing birthday parties. And one of my biggest struggles currently has been raising funds for my bus. It's been a headache. I've got a lot of yes, no, people who said that they wanted to invest in the bus and never did. So that has been one of the absolute biggest challenges. But that's okay, though, because, see, one thing I know, Caden, and I would even continue to encourage you, the yes, yes, if you get a minimum of three yes, which I know you've gotten far more than that, the yes, especially when it comes to uh, raising funds, will always win, and you will always get that money. I truly believe that uh, in my heart. Uh, so how does the future look for your bus project, and then uh, how does it look right now? I plan to have the bus going on, going to schools, going to Boys and Girls Club, YMCA's, and currently the bus is still being remodeled. So that's what where we're at now with the bus, and where I plan to be with the bus. So, the, so are you? So when is the bus will actually the, make your first trip on the bus? I have you already. Yeah, not yet. I the bus will be done in around four weeks, so we don't currently have a date for when we're gonna have our first trip with the bus. But the bus will be done in four weeks. That is absolutely great. Uh, in your opinion, uh, what is the important reason for having a mentor related to doing? financial literacy with the work that you are doing now? One thing that I found is that having a mentor is definitely a shortcut. They teach you how not to make the same mistakes that they've made, and they're overall just a great success and just a great help to reach a success quicker in your business. Wow, that is absolutely great because it's, it kind of goes back also to the whole saying, Two heads are better than one or three heads. And the more you have people in your corner and to think with you and to support you, and that's why one of the reasons why to our television audience today that I have Caden on television is because not only just to be help and to have more heads, but also to let the world know that we have some great young men out here just like you, Caden, who are doing great things, and the thing that you're doing is absolutely phenomenal. And, I mean, I, I, I will forever applaud you on your doing that. Thank you so much, Dr. Steele. And what I like, though, is this. So how do you encounter people who are negative sometimes, you know, as a business owner and someone who are doing great things? How do, how do, you, how do you deal with that? 
encountered many negative people. One story that I have of, a, of me encountering a negative person is actually the reason I decided to write my book title that I'm not going to argue with you is because one lady, one day a lady came to our school and she asked us, what do we want to do when we grew up? And I simply said that I wanted to continue being a speaker, author, and CEO. And when I said that, she said, that's not a real career. And I said, yes, it is. And she, and she said, no, it's not. And I'm not going to argue with you. And then shortly after, she went to another boy next to, next to me. And she asked her, what did he want to do? And he said that he wanted to continue, that he wanted to be a rapper. And she thought that that was the world's best idea. And just a week after that, she would, just a week after that, I had a speaking pitch competition where I won $25,000 just a week after she said that it wasn't a real career. Yeah, well, she didn't know what she was talking about, but I congratulate you on winning that $25,000. But also what I want you to do is right now, Kaden, hold your book up in front of the camera so the world can see it. Just hold it up. Now give the title of your book. The title of my book is titled, I'm not going to argue with you. And some of my other products that I have is my book, is my activity book, my book titled Katie's Rich Kid Guide, excuse me, and my financial flashcards. And this is what they look like. It has the word and the definition on the back. And I also have my very own puzzle and my financial toolbox, which bundles all of my products. Wow, that is absolutely great, Kaden. That's absolutely great that you would spend the time, the talent, the skill, the energy, and develop those products so that you can help not only yourself, but you can help and teach so many other young boys and girls just like you all over, all over how to, to deal and be financially sound. That is absolutely remarkable. Thank you. What advice would you give someone, Caden, on starting a business, especially a young person your age or even older or younger? One thing that I would say is do your research. Find something that you're good at and it will help a lot of people. And one of the other things that I would say is look at people who are where you want to be and kind of get a head start on that. Right, because... You, like what you said earlier, there's no sense in reinventing the wheel if you already have it. If you already have it, now you can, you can, like you said, shortcut or you can make more progress because you're already doing it the right way by based on things that have been done, the data, the research in the past, and now you don't have to waste time doing it because you're paying attention and learn from those who have already done it. So I really commend, again, I, I don't have nothing to say, but just continue to commend you and all of the great things that you're doing, but also all of the great things that you're also going to do. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. Now, you're in business and you've been, Business and your business is similar to some of the things I do and your father do. Uh, so listen to this here, and this is amazing. Why is teaching financial literacy so important to you? I would say finance, teaching kids financial literacy at an early age is so important to me because I've also often realize that many kids graduate high school without even knowing the basics about financial literacy. And, it would, and if I were to teach kids about financial literacy early, we would have better communities, better cities, and so much more. And that's why I would say 
to teach your kids about financial literacy at an early age is so important. Yeah, and that is very true because then, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of kids can grow up and l- knowing how not only to understand money and some of the principles of money, but also knowing how to properly manage their money that that way not only do they make money but they know also how to keep some of their money and that's that's even important to me and not just to kids but it's also what important to adults as well and so you'll have 10 20 years head start on a lot of young people because you're starting early it's kind of like having an ounce of prevention and so I really, again, th- uh, I'm going to say to Wealth Think Tank television uh, audience out in the United States, this is great to have young people like Caden and many others to follow behind his foot- feet in order that they will understand uh, financial literacy and the process of understanding money. And so I am so, so, so happy and thrilled to have him today on this television show. Caden, what does the future hold for you? Where would you like to be? Uh, and, and, and if you don't mind, if that I'm not bothered, how, how old are you? I'm 11 years old. 11 years old. And so in the future, where do you want to, when you grow up, uh, you want to, where do you want to go to college or what do you want to do more as you grow up? I don't think that I would want to go to college. I would want to continue running my business. And I do plan to have my products in multiple stores to create many more products. And one of my biggest dreams is to take my financial bus on tour and go all around the country and teach kids about financial literacy on the financial bus. Wow. You don't buy, do you by chance, if you do have, you don't have a picture of it, of your financial bus by chance, do you? I do. It would put the, if you would so kindly just kind of raise it up on the television screen so the audience, television audience can see it. <clears throat> this is a picture of the bus. Wow. That's the bus. Do you have a, do you have a name for it by chance? I will want to name it Caden's Financial Learning Mobile Center. Caden Financial Learning Mobile Center. Yes. On wheels. Wow. Amazing. And like you say, you can drive the bus and go all over the United States, different cities, different places, and teach financial literacy. And and I think that you're on the right track. I think that you're going to be which you already are, <clears throat> but you're going to even be bigger, better, brighter, and do so many amazing things with financial literacy, uh, which brings me to my next question uh, in terms of uh, do you already, are you, are you looking to form a team? Or do you already have a team yet? Is it just you? Or is there others going to be, do you have others to follow you? Uh, how, how do you look at that? and I'll understand that in the future. I would love to franchise my business, but currently it's just me and my family who work on my business, but I would love to franchise my business in the future. Well, that would be great because, see, when you fr- franchise your business, then now you're creating, not only creating more business partners and business owners, but you will also create more what I call multiple streams of income, of wealth. Uh, and, and then not only that, but just still helping so many thousands and perhaps millions of young people and, and others as well to learn and earn and to create that hunger and thirst uh, understanding financial literacy. And, and I believe that, <clears throat> which brings me to my next question, I believe that, and you tell me I'm my own track, I believe that you have a hunger and a thirst for financial literacy. 
Yes, I definitely do. And uh, that's a great thing, and uh, I'm so glad that you have that. I mean, I have it myself as well. So I'm so, again, I'm just so proud of you. I, I do want to stop for a moment and, and just say I am so proud of Caden's father, Dr. Harris, his mother, Miss Harris, and anybody related to you in that family <clears throat> because this is what America, folks, about this is how God works in the lives of of us as we create generational wealth, as we promote, we encourage, and we guide our young people to becoming just like Caden. You know what I mean? And I, I can feel your heart, Caden. You have a very humble spirit. Thank you kindly. So. What else would you tell the television audience today about financial literacy and about just being in the financial wealth world? One of the things that I would tell the audience is don't just is continue and don't let the negative people get to you because you can do it. You can do whatever your dream is. Amen. Amen. And there you have it, folks. We have Caden Harris all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, who will have the mobile bus teaching financial literacy, going all over the United States, uh, having workshops. He has books. He has a game. He has flashcards on financial literacy. I mean, just an amazing uh, professional young businessman, I mean, in his own right. And we are proud of him being uh, one of our own young people in America doing such a great job already and going to do. Can, can you imagine? I'm asking my television audience now. Can you imagine 11 years old when he becomes 22, double A, 33? Can you imagine the people, the folks' lives that will be changed? As he said earlier, the community will but by the way, Caden, if you would give your email, telephone number, name of your business again to our television audience, and for those who want and desire to sow a seed and to perhaps provide some funding out of their own pocket towards the bus, would you provide that information? You can reach me on my Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, all at Caden Teaches, and my website, CadenTeaches.com, where you can also find my GoFundMe for my bus. Amen. That's great. That's great. And, folks, there you have it. Again, Caden Harris, 11 years old, intelligent, bright, caring, professional, got a good heart, a very good young man. I'm so glad to have him on our show today. Caden, I'm glad to have you on the show today. I appreciate what all you do, and uh, I look forward to even meeting you again one day above and beyond just a television show. And again, welcome, and thank you for being on our show today, and thank you for everything you're doing in the city of Atlanta, state of Georgia, and those things more you're going to do in the United States. Thank you so much, Dr. Steele. And as I like to say, remember, if Caden can, you can too. Again, i like to thank Caden Harris for being on Wealth Think Tank television show. Thank you very, very much. We are more than happy to have you on um, to be on this show because we believe and we support your efforts in uh, financial literacy, especially teaching it to young people, to children, teenagers. So we thank you again for being on our show, uh, Wealth Think Tank Television. Our show is on every Sunday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Central, 5 Mountain, and 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. But before we go, as we end this show, I do want you to know, especially parents out there, again, I highly recommend, and if you need any assistance, I can provide that assistance to you. 
because it is always better to invest in your children and your grandchildren at a very early age. And we can do that. We can do that with whole life insurance. We can do that with index universal life insurance. We can even do that with annuities. And so in doing so, guess what? Folks, we can create generational wealth for your family, for your children. We can create a way that they can live and start off early. But also, the second thing we can do f for your family as well, we also can do what we call teen financial literacy classes, which is about eight sessions in teaching your children to understand financial literacy, financial investment, so that when they grow up and become adults, they are fully knowledgeable, they understand, they have the skill set of investing and, and making money, but also keeping money for themselves. Folks, this is what we do, and this is how you create that generational wealth that is available for everybody. Remember my motto, wealth is a human right. Everyone, every single American child and adults have a right to be wealthy, to live the American dream. And you know what? You can start that process. And if you need to, just give me a call. I'm Dr. Ralph Steele. The number is 817-729-0543. Or you can even check us out on our website, www.w me3cash.com. Again, we can assist you in your journey to become a wealthy American and live the American dream. N and I believe that everybody has a right to do that. Live happy. Live in joy. Live wealthy. Uh, of course, as I say, healthy wealthy. So guess what? Give us a call, and we will be of assistance to you. Again, the number is 817-729-0543. Thank you very much, and have a great, great evening.